What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally! Friday, because it's the best day of the week. Right there is the big beautiful snap-on truck, and there's the man himself. So let's take a look and see what he's got, because it's hot, hot, hot. So maybe the deals will carry on inside. Let's go. I'm brown down the air conditioner still no, working. Right here. How'd they... Man got so much stuff, he don't know where it's at. Yeah, but I thought I lost them right here in front of me then. What, you can't give them gray ones away or what? That's the last pair of them square handle ones, so. Man, man, man. I thought somebody's gonna buy them this morning, but they didn't. Backed out. Yeah. That snap-on tax must have got them. I think he was trying to worry more about sockets than he was screwdrivers at that time. I'd rather have sockets and screwdrivers myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice this morning. Felt good. Everything was a little foggy. I mean, it was nice. Probably in the maybe upper 50s, I guess. Yeah. And then Satan opened the window. All the heat then, come right back. Then got hot out there again now. Oh, man, this missy heat's terrible. Yesterday, I was riding down the road. Of course, my windows, everybody's saying they're not tending. I had, they ain't had to scare over my seat. They ain't was burning my leg through the, or I mean my arm through the window. Last week, you know, I was in Salt Lake and it was just perfect. You know, it was in the 60s that morning. It got up to like 72 during the day. I mean, it was just absolutely perfect weather. We go to North Carolina, gorgeous weather. Come back here and it's hotter than hell. My God, <laughs> can't win for losing. Leave it to Mississippi to burn everything up. Absolutely. Well, we're going to the uh, Ole Miss Bama game tomorrow in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Well, old James Bearden. It'll be a fun time. It. Uh, I've actually I picked Ole Miss to win. I got two bets, two different people in the game. If they've so ever so. had a chance at winning in Tuscaloosa, it's right this, now. This right now. You're right. I, now, I don't predict them to win just because. Ole Miss is a terrible track record. When they got a good team and Mississippi State sucks that year, they always lose the Egg Bowl. And then it's just the other way around. If Mississippi yeah, got State the worst team, sucks that year, they'll beat Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl. Yeah, whoever has the worst team is going to win the Egg Bowl every time because they ain't got nothing else to lose and they don't try to ruin the other one's bowl game or whatnot. But Well, everybody, they, uh, you know, they they think their conference is that their, their favorite team is is tough, you know. They ain't no tough like SEC tough. <laughs> Number one team in the nation for however many years now. Holy but cow. I mean, the, I got a buddy of mine, well, my sister and her husband are too. They're, they're season ticket holders over at Alabama. But a buddy of mine, he's a diehard fan. And he said he, he ain't going to be worried about any game this year except for this one. Really? Yeah, about the Ole Miss game. Uh, well, he said he's watched every play that Alabama's played this year. And he says that he said they ain't played but four good quarters all year. Said, well, I know. This I've been by Bryant Denny Stadium a bunch, but I've never went to a game there. Now yeah. I've been, you know, to Ole Miss a bunch of games, and I've been to state games, and I even went to a Kentucky game and a Tennessee game. So this will be my first experience of wearing Ole Miss red, yeah, and a Bryant Denny. So That's, I'm not. Well, I mean, Clay knows. Clay's a, a diehard Ole Miss fan. I'm not. I'm a Mississippi State fan, but I'm pulling for Ole Miss this weekend. And, uh, well, I pull for like. As long as Mississippi State doesn't play Ole Miss, I pull for State. Yep, and we're the you know, same. And a lot way. of people they don't understand that, but like I even want Southern Miss to win. Jackson State, you know what what uh, um, Prime Times doing down there with them boys is impressive. Well, yeah. you know, I just if they're from Mississippi, I want them to win that football game. Were well, you talking about Prime Time at JSU down there? That's what I told my wife about the documentary. You talking about him on Netflix? Mm -hmm. We looked it up. They ain't been able to start it yet, but we got That's it good. got it ready though, so we can watch it. Cause he's I like him. He's, he's grooming them boys to go pro. Yeah, but I, we've talked about going down there and watching a the game. Just I, to I see. think it'll be fun. You yeah, know? 
course, I love football. Like, I even watch colleges you've never heard of when they play on ESPN. If nothing else, you know, you know, I'm I like, like watching them high school games. Usually, high school games on ESPN and that. Dude, nobody and, uh, plays as hard as a high school or junior college or senior college football team that has seniors on it. Yeah. Well, y'all had a, there was a heck of a game here in Boonville last night yeah. with Northeast and ICC. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was an impressive game. I have to give it to them boys. They yeah. did good. So. Yeah, that was a good ball game right there. All right, I got to get on tools because everybody be fussing. The non-football fans be fussing <laughs> at us. So, But I know one thing. We may go over there and get our butts beat on that football field tomorrow, but we're going to have a good time in the parking lot beforehand. Yeah, I know I'll, that for a fact. Well, you got a good guy that you're going with over old James. He's yeah. as good as they come. He He's said, gone. all you need to bring is your beer. That's what he told me. So... Uh, that's what she's actually unloading right now. Well, if I you look her, behind, yeah. I seen her. She was... She's hauling it in right now. <laughs> My wife's on her lunch break, and she comes in with a truckload of beer <laughs> where we can start icing it down right now. So yeah. there's no excuse for tomorrow. It's just some chairs and a table or something, too, while it goes. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. So what uh, what new and exciting stuff we got? You got a I'll... green boot on a red impact. Yeah, I don't know who put that on there. Christmas. We didn't get a whole lot of tools in this week. I did get the whole, our RA jackets, our winter jackets in. Yeah. Of course, when I look at the weather and it says it'll be 88 every day, I'm not putting yeah, them on the I, truck. I, I wouldn't worry about stocking them. Yeah, they're, I slid them inside the shop and pushed them to the back. And I said, when it gets back down <laughs> in the 60s, every, then I put the jackets back on here. Or put them on there. They ain't been on here yet. They got to be something we ain't seen up here. We've talked about them. They're yeah. awesome. The, the long, deep sockets. You got two neon yellow ratchets. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in here that you ain't seen yet. Where's another snap ring? I don't know if set. anybody ever. Big truck guys use these. Yep, I, I know, know you got some of them. Yep, sure we do. Those Never. are nice. Yeah, we can talk about this bad boy right here real quick. I like the way it locks on because when you put yeah. it on, you can, and the hose is long enough on that thing, you can stand up and you don't have to stay squatted down and killing your knees and all that. You yep. stand up, it's got a long enough chuck that it goes through the inside tire really well. And I'm after and a, Believe it or not, that dial don't seem like it's that big, but the number's big enough, even when you're old fart like me, you can still read the darn things yep, pretty good. Turn this way so y'all can. But y'all can see how. Like you can actually read that one, so. Quite I got nice. a couple of tire shops that I've showed them these already. That they done bought these to use. He said because the motor guys that's working, they ain't got to bend down. They can walk up to them and just yep. bend a little bit and get down there too. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah. And I like the way you can pss, 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 just to bump it up where you yep. need it with the. But these are very nice right here. So good. They they, they ain't bad. The, lifetime warranty. They give you all the part number. Cause I don't want y'all being mad at me. TIF HD 160. And it's yeah. got a 14 inch chuck, dual foot chuck, 48 inches of rubber hose. So that means four foot. Now, if you're a seven foot tall guy, you still got to bend down a good bit, but hey. You might have to slice a, it a little bit. Just, just stretch your arms a little bit. Yeah. These are 172. They're actually on promo right now for 155. 155. So uh, you save enough money on that, you can go drink beer tomorrow. There you go. And they are, like I said, they're lifetime warranty. You don't find very, very many air trucks and people that's lifetime warranty. Well, I know we've talked about them before, and I've had several people ask me about mine. The snap-on air truck, it's got the instinct grip handle on it. Yep. You got GA359B. GA359B. You know he sold a bunch of them. He can memorize the part number. I keep them on here. But these, now they high. Now, let me, let me give you all a warning before <laughs> we even do this. They're very expensive. Like Eagle Cooch is lower than that than that tool is right there. Even when he's flying, touching the clouds. But it works. They and they hold on really well. These are lock on too. Cause now, like I'm kind of lazy. Like when I'm, you know, ironing up a new tire, I'll just stick it on there and let it do its thing, you know. And then I'll grab the hose and kind of, you know, flop it. Everybody does that, right? Flop yeah. it and gets it off. Yeah, you you got to work to get that one off. Yeah, these are about 60 bucks. How about everybody's like, oh, $60 for a day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's high it. for an air chuck when you can buy the little plain. Something like yeah, these. For like for, $4. Yeah, and these lock on also. But I will, 
a lot of people like these and we sell a bunch of them they're not warranted uh, they mess up you throw them in the garbage yep. but these are tough to get on and off sometimes mm -hmm. but like clay said these they do hold they hold well because they're threaded in the end yeah let me so when you push it up on there yeah on here because this thing like when they lock on buddy they're on there yeah they're threaded they're gonna hold on there they do a really good job and they're comfortable in your hand they feel good the only problem you're gonna have with that is everybody and their brother is gonna want to borrow it and then they're gonna want to accidentally forget to give it back to you because they are nice yeah. and i know you can buy the little cheap metal ones at the hot napa for like three bucks and that's what you got yeah so they uh I wasn't, and that's what a lot of people like clay so they are high they're sixty dollars but when it breaks or something uh they're lifetime warranty mm -hmm. take it back to your dealer and i know there's gonna be guys like man i probably won't wire 20 out in my lifetime okay you don't have to fuss about the price we all know i told you before you even looked at it it's yeah. expensive <laughs> like so there ain't he, no doubt he, i got one i like it and i know some other guys that bought one from the the video that i did on it I actually did like a cool tool Tuesday video yeah, one of my first so. ones on that. Yeah. Um, but it's a really good, uh, I, I think it's worth the money. But like I say, I gave you a warning. It is high. So for all you snap on haters, there's something else to add to your bitch list right there. <laughs> Make sure to write that part number down. That way you can fuss about it. Everybody that you ever talk to from now on that owns anything with snap on on it. Yeah. And we got a different one with the instinct handle, which it said I had one, but I ain't got it on here. I'm not seeing. I may have it at the house or something. But you can see it right here. Clay can show you on the. A little that's stubby a dude. GA 358B. That's a little short fella. Yeah. That'd be all right, but I like that one right there because, I mean, I own a F350 Dually, and that makes it a lot nicer to get the inner wheel when you mm -hmm. got the kickback on here yep and them don't have it them just have a regular end on which i'm sure you could take that off but you still end up put the kickback on there though yep that's right yeah. i like it it's a cool tool i think everybody would invest 60 something dollars that way you can have the most expensive air chuck made but it feels good in your hand and it's cool the only thing i don't like on. about it is the you got to have a female in mm -hmm. instead of having a male i think yeah when i did mine i actually had to put a coupler on because i'm too tight to you know go <laughs> buy the one that i need it's not really the fact of the the matter of having to go pay three or four bucks for another end you it's got if i call or... napa and tell them what i want especially air chuck in they're gonna send the wrong crap every single time anyway and i, I just didn't ever drive up there i put that little adapter on it and Man, it works fine. And I, I verify for Clay, Napa is what, mile, mile and a half up the road? Mm -hmm. And it would literally take them an hour and a half to get down here. Yep. It sucks bad. Now, AutoZone, they'll actually walk it over here. Yeah, AutoZone's <laughs> right across the street. They walk, they just walk up with a part. You're like, I didn't hear you pull up. Oh, I just walked. <laughs> I think they did so they can stay out of the office a little longer. That's it. <laughs> but they're fast over there, though. Them boys yeah, will be in five they minutes. They do good. Like, you know, there's obviously, you know, AutoZone sells cheaper parts. There's parts you want to buy from AutoZone, Not and there's parts you don't. There's parts you would buy from O'Reilly's, and then there's parts you don't. But that goes with Napa, too. I mean, everybody's got their, I guess, favorite parts part that they store. like to get from their parts store. And, like, I'm not that big a fan on cheap prices of electrical parts, especially if it's like a blend door, actually, where it's a pain in the ass to get to that kind of stuff and i'm not too big on buying like heater cores from the cheaper stores either because i've got burn on that and had to redo jobs so yes it's usually be ones you get pull the whole dash and everything out on yeah it can't never be like the you know the chevrolet trucks where it's a little easier to get to or you know some of that stuff it's I, always a pain in the balls i did one one time and somebody told me it had to be the hardest one they ever seen but you had to pull the, the seats out and the console because the console's made in center the console day. yep and I'm like, oh, dang, suck. man these are drill a get a hole saw and drill a hole through the <laughs> firewall or something you know the that the camaro camaro that i got in the back you know yeah um i know a guy that's got one of them and instead of dropping the tank he cut a hole out on the top of it yeah i like, pulled the carpet behind like man there ain't no way i'd do that to my car of course my car is a little different than yeah than some people's cars but I wouldn't dare do that to my car. Even if I didn't have a lift, I'd back that joker up on some ramps or raise it up and put it on jack stands and drop the tank. There's no way I'd cut a hole. 
That's like well, my car. Fuel pumps on the trucks and stuff. People cut driving, holes in the bed. Yeah, I pull the bed off. I'm, I haven't like driving the tank, but I've seen. I've where seen people, people cut holes in, the, in bed. the bed and then put a steel plate back over it or something. I'm like, dude, if you got a buddy with a tractor, <laughs> go buy him a six pack of beer and stick you a tube of six across the bed, drop pick the bolts the out, and pick the bed up. You know, if you don't want to. Hey, to each their own. How they like to fix stuff. I'm not. I'm not judging. If you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. You know, <laughs> whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're finna get in here and get back to work. Like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us on this awesome Friday. It's finally, 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 finally Friday. Friday. Finally. All right. It's nearly beer 30. So you guys have a great weekend. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.